Welcome back. The Missouri Basketball Tigers are getting a lot more attention. Mizzou jumping up to number 10 in this week's AP College Poll. And tomorrow night, they will take center stage at Madison Square Garden in New York City, playing Villanova, a 5-2 team in the Jimmy V Classic. Missouri is off to a 7-0 start. Another chance to impress tomorrow night in front of a national television audience. They're very similar to us, and when you, and they kind of mirror us. They play a small lineup at times and four guards, so uh, it should be an interesting uh, matchup. I think one uh, made for TV. I think a lot of folks will be – it's an exciting game. A 6 p.m. tip-off tomorrow night, Missouri and Villanova at Madison Square Garden. We thought that the Missouri football team would be heading to New York for the holidays, but instead of the pinstripe bowl at Yankee Stadium, the Tigers instead will play in the Independence Bowl, the third trip to Shreveport, Louisiana, in the last nine years for Mizzou football. This time they'll face North Carolina, a school that, like Mizzou, is ranked in the top ten in basketball, but had a disappointing 7-5 and five season in football. Still, though, it's a bowl game, fourth straight for North Carolina. This makes seven in a row for Missouri. One of our goals is uh, is I, our, to go to a bowl every year. That's that's very very important for our program. Uh, it's um, it's also uh, you know we're in a situation too where we lost our last two bowl games, and uh, uh, that makes this to me you know really uh, that magnifies the importance of, of playing better than what we've done in the past. For more on the Tigers bowl game, go to Leffler's link at connectmidmissouri.com. Tom has some interesting thoughts as usual. Again, it's Missouri and North Carolina three weeks from today. Mizzou will begin bowl practices this Friday. KRCG and Central Bank are teaming up to give away some Chiefs Packers tickets for the December 18th game in Kansas City. Go to our website, connectmidmissouri.com, and you can register to win. Casey came up with a road win at Chicago yesterday, 10-3 over the Bears. Bad news is that new Chiefs quarterback Kyle Orton took only one snap he injured his right index finger, had to leave the game. So Tyler Palco returned. Here's the only touchdown of the game, a, a last-second Hail Mary pass to end the first half. Dexter McCluster ends up with the football. Kansas City ends up with the win. Just give your receivers a chance because you never know what can happen. So um, you know, I guess that's pretty much how that, that worked out. And it was, uh, it was great that Dexter was down there for, uh, you know, to catch that. Monday Night Football, former Mizzou Tiger Blaine Gabbert and the Jacksonville Jaguars playing the San Diego Chargers. Gabbert with a pair of second quarter touchdown passes. It's Maurice Jones-Drew. Later, it's Gabbert to Cecil Shorts with a nice grab in the corner of the end zone. Blaine also threw an interception, though. His Jags trail San Diego 38-14 in the fourth quarter. High school hoops tonight at the Lynn Dome. The hometown Wildcats hosting the Herman Bearcats in blue. Greg Winkleman, three for Herman. Jake Chanuth drives left side to lead Herman with 20 points and 12 boards. Herman wins it 54 to 36. More basketball in Osage County, Fatima, and St. Clair in Westphalia. Tanner Genches drives for Fatima off the glass and good. More Comets, Patrick Schneiders. It's a friendly bounce off the iron here. Counted up for three. Ryan Robertson says, think about this. His Fatima Comets are 2-0 after a 20-point win over St. Clair, 52-32. On the boys' scoreboard at the Troy Tournament, Rockbridge wins over St. Dominic easily to go 3-0. MSD is off to a great start, 3-1 after beating Community R6. Bell over Owensville tonight. Back to Lynn for girls basketball, the Herman Lady Bearcats. Coming off a second-place finish in Class 3 a year ago. Inbounds play, Herman's Hannah Steinbeck. Easy two, Laura Rathemeyer banks it in here. Herman sweeps Lynn using uh, winning the girls game also 64 to 35. On the Jefferson City High V scoreboard, it was Elias falling to Lebanon tonight. Fatima wins over St. E. Russellville gets its thousandth point from Amber Duncan, a junior. They beat South Callaway. Boonville and Sturgeon both winners tonight. New Bloomfield over Jamestown. Owensville defeats Steelville. Mexico is 3-1 with the win. Eldon is 4-0 after beating Eugene. Camdenton over Versailles and Centralia. Eeks went out over Paris at the Centralia Tournament. And each Monday night through the high school basketball season, we'll highlight the top play of the week brought to you by our friends at Central Methodist University. Here it is from the Norm Stewart Classic in Columbia. Rockbridge guard Travis Jorgensen, the future Tiger. Great assist to Leo 
Drakerzopoulos for the layup, our Central Methodist University High School Basketball Play of the Week. And voting for the River Region Team of the Season still open until tomorrow. Get on our website, make your votes quick. Great, thanks. Yeah.